prime time picks for this week. Brandon jumped ahead of me a little more this week. He went four and one. I was two and three. Listeners one and four. Jake. Hey. Two and three with two me. Two and three buddies. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Chicago. And thanks, Pittsburgh. So Brandon is leading with 33 correct picks. I have 31. The listeners, you you have 28. Make sure to be voting at Loud Sports Pod so that you can up the listeners to maybe second place if you think you can get ahead of me and really show that you are as much of a part of this podcast as any one of its hosts. Probably more than me because I'm <laughs> terrible at this. <laughs> Thursday night, first off, Colts at Texans. You know... You've heard you already I, said it, yeah. You've heard what I think. I like the Texans, so Jake. Oh, well, I understand the sentiment by what you're saying, that the Texans would come out with a lot more motivation and a lot more, you know, because they did get embarrassed but by the Ravens. But, you know, I'd argue, again, I've been saying it all podcasts, Ravens are a good football team. So I wouldn't... Whoop, whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop. I wouldn't... I wouldn't uh, be too devastated by it. I don't, I don't buy the Texans blowing out the Colts here. I got the Colts. I think they're they're riding Blowing high. Blowing out, I mean, like, it's a three and a half point line. But you, the way you were talking, was they were gonna beat up on them. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, play it back. But uh, I got the Colts in this one. I spotted the lie that the Colts are gonna win. <laughs> you think I was? Be- I just said they're gonna That's beat like up. Two dollars at this point, Paul. And Brandon, Thursday night football. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Texans as well. I mean, Colts are without T. Y. Hilton and Marlon Mack. I mean, where are they gonna get get any offense at? This week on the road. We'll see. But I'm taking the Texans. Who knows with this division, man? This to division's weird. To Sunday night, Packers at 49ers. I want to hear Jake last. Brandon flipping it back to you. <laughs> Who you got? I'm going to take the Packers off a of bye. Go, Pack, go. I mean. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Meet me at the Lambo. They're coming off a of bye. That just sounds like a Lambo. 49ers have been struggling a little bit the last couple of weeks. So, last three weeks or so. So, I think this will be a ch- chance for the Packers to take the number one seed away from the 49ers. Go, Pack, go. Jake, who you got Sunday night? Now, look, I'll be the first to tell you that I, I, if, if I didn't believe in superstitions, I would, I would probably – I do believe in superstitions is what I'm trying to say. I don't even know how I'm trying to put this. I don't know how to put this. In a nice way for you, Paul. But uh, Jimmy G is still a good quarterback. I understand that the, the 49ers dug themselves in a 16-point hole, down 16 nothing against the, the Cardinals. But I think people are not giving the Cardinals enough credit. Yes, they have a lot of losses. You've had to say that twice this year because Jimmy G has barely beat the Cardinals twice this year. The Cardinals are a good football team. The pieces just aren't there yet. They're not a good football team. They're a almost good football team. They've got a rookie quarterback. They got a rookie coach. Just the pieces aren't there. They'd yet. be a good team if they had good players. Gotcha. <laughs> Kyler, Mur- <laughs> Kyler Murray is playing so much better than I thought he would, and I think the, the Cardinals are not getting respect. They play in a hard division. Tough division. All right. Now that being said, I do believe in superstitions, and I have. Lo- I know I. You thought I didn't two weeks ago when I picked the Panthers, but I have learned my lesson. I am never picking against the Packers again. I'm taking them in this one. Go Pack, go! Sunday night to Monday I, night. I can't do it. It's like the football gods are punishing me. It's like how dare you work with two Packer fans and always pick against them? So I'm not doing it. Well, the Rams. Good choice. <laughs> have we ever had hosted back-to-back prime? time games back-to-back weeks before Rams uh, host Monday night after hosting Sunday night Steelers possibly because they played they played a lot of primetime games as well this year Ravens yeah, I don't know Ravens Maybe at Rams no the Browns didn't host the Jets never mind who you got Jake Ravens at Rams I mean I've been saying it all podcasts the Ravens are the best team in the AFC probably the best team in the league they're taking this one Brandon Ravens yeah. at Rams yeah I got the Ravens as well I think they'll win Pretty handily in this one. They're three-point favorites on the road across the country. Right. I mean, that's saying something. The Rams are not playing very well right now, even though they're coming off a win. But Well, that's chalk. I'm going Ravens as well. So, flipping it back. Brandon, you're first for your wild card this week. You, had your, you got your upset first last week that pulled you through for a 4 and one week. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with the hot team right now, playing against a team that's 
not very good. I'm going to take the Cleveland Browns to beat the Dolphins at home. <laughs> you know the Dolphins are going to win now. <laughs> Cleveland Browns have played a little bit better as of the last two or three weeks. I think they keep it going. Uh, it's a solid pick. And like we said last week, I think the Browns are really going to benefit from having the weaker part of the schedule at the end of the season versus the harder part of the schedule. Paul, are you going next or is it me? A wild card pick that I like this week. You know, I'm I'm sticking with my bets. Steelers in Cincinnati. Way too easy. Give me that money. Oh, man. Watch. This will be like the one time that the Bengals just blow everybody away. No, they won't. They, they want that draft pick. I don't know what's going to happen with the Steelers' offensive players and how, they're, how they are injury-wise for this week, but that's how much I know the Bengals are horrible. And Jake, I'm going to stick with a team uh, that has been consistent, been, yeah, consistently under the radar all season. Who's a good team, uh, but because they're in a division with the Patriots that you know people don't talk about as much. I'm taking the Bills over the Broncos. Good pick. That'll show how not good the Vikings are, (laughs) and how the Broncos almost upset them. I really hope you don't ever have to move to like. The state of Minnesota or something, because it's going to be rough for you. My upset for this week, starting it off with Seahawks in Philly. Ooh. Plus 1.5. Give me that money. <laughs> Easy money. Take the money. In Philly. Seahawks. You know, Russell Wilson has just looked better and better, depending on the better the, the pass rush has gotten that he's faced. All year long, their offensive weapons around him are only getting healthier and better as the season goes on. This is easy, man. How are the, I? I get that the Eagles are a good NFC team, but I would have the Seahawks favorite here, and so that jumped out at me right away. What about you, Jake? I haven't picked this team because they've hurt me, but most sports teams hurt me, and it's an abusive relationship, and I, I think. Yes, they had a bad game last week, but I think it's time that we, we, uh, all hands on deck. Stop. The Buccaneers. Don't bet with your heart. Are going to upset a very hot Falcons team. And I think the Buccaneers will beat the Falcons on the road and get back to their winning ways. It's a stupid pick, I know, but I got to get, I, I got to do ooh, that. Was, that was going to be my upset pick also. Oh, no. Brandon's got to find a so new I'm one. So I'm scrambling. I had a backup. But I liked I like Jags at Titans plus three. I'm taking. I'm going to take another hot team. I'm going to take the Jets at home. Pow! <laughs> they got me an upset last week. I think they're going to do it again against Oakland Raiders. West going east. I'm going to take. I'm going to take. One. I'm going to take the Jets. You know, that's a, that's a good pick. Jets have, have been I, able to score. I really, it was between, to be honest, it was between the Bucks and the Giants. I was going to take the Giants just to troll Bears fans. But I thought, maybe the Bucks. who knows? I got to give credit, Atlanta's hot right now, but I don't know. This is where I know I'm in the hashtag gambling gang because I'm thinking, you know, Jets can score. What's that line? And I immediately look at the over-under, and it's 46 and a half. And if it was anything under 46, I would have definitely bet the over for Raiders and Jets because those are two usable offenses. The and defenses are not, not great. The Raiders can get – their defense is improving. They can get sacks, but you can score against them, yep. as we've seen from multiple teams. It's, it's good to sometimes – take that over but i don't know we'll stick with the fab five plus one i have for this week uh speaking of bets shout out to rutgers you may not have thought they won but they won this week uh because brandon (laughs) sent us a text during the middle on thursday last week uh ohio state was a 42 point favorite and the over under was 63 so if you bet the over you got it but uh, the the they did not win by fifty two. I think it was, was forty nine to fourteen or something like that. Yes, I I believe that was the score. Can they you, only played half the game though. Can so. you celebrate <laughs> if you cover? <laughs> when you're Rutgers, when you're maybe. Rutgers, yeah. small victory. Especially when you score fourteen Start points. Start somewhere, right? It's about it's a culture building win or culture building loss. <laughs> it's a culture building loss. As I'm 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 very familiar with those. I'm finishing up my first year at Idaho. I'm the head coach of... Stop talking about NCAA football. I can't play it. 
here's here, uh, here's why it's fun. This is the time I'm actually gonna team hop and make myself into a great coach that ends up at a at a powerhouse. The next like three Nick Saban, three contracts Urban from Meyer. now. I'll be at FSU or something. Well, that was loud sports podcast for this week. A lot of great football in state and national to bring to you. Make sure to place your picks for our primetime picks so you can compete against us. Interact with the podcast at Loud Sports Pod on Twitter. Follow and like us on Facebook, the Loud Sports Podcast. For Jake Williams and Brandon Plecker, I'm Paul Rubidoux, and we will talk to you next week. 